Okay, well, here we are. We got the bottom on here now. So now I've got some other material I found around here and I just spliced it together right quick with a little tube inside. We're gonna clean our paint off of here. Put this up there. But before I do that, I got another little piece of angle iron that I gotta put up here to give it like a straight edge going across to give this more support. Then once that's on, I'll be able to go ahead and run a chain through the holes that where I got lucky enough they were already in here. And uh, that's pretty much what it's gonna be like. And uh, let me clean that paint off of there, weld it up, and finish this thing off. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this paint off and take this bracket with my other piece, and this piece here will go up like that, and this piece will give it some support underneath. That way it won't twist on me and stuff like that, and I'll fill in the gaps, I was wrong direction anyway. So I'll fill in the gaps, and it'll go like that. Let me take this paint off of here. So I take that paint off because when you go to weld, you don't want to have that stinky smell for one, but then it's easier to strike the arc. That's kind of like a common sense thing anyway. So that'll go right in there. You clean up a little bit more. And we'll be commencing to weld now. Grab my hood. Yeah, you know, this is just a bottle cart, so it's not as if it's rocket science. Plus, I like to go ahead and build stuff my own, own self, opposed to having really to go buy it. I mean, why? Let's go this way here with it. And just tack it in there. Enough to hold it. See, and I go like that. And this piece will, will lay right in there, but I do have to bend it down just a little bit. I already saw that coming. So I just got to hit that with the mallet. Let me do that right quick and come right back. Okay, let's put this on here now. Like that. And I'm just eyeballing balling it. That'll hold it for now. Get this out of here. So what I'm gonna do here also, and I'm gonna take some gussets, and then they'll, they'll go underneath here just to give it a little bit more support. But I still gotta spread these out some, just a little bit. So let me finish this up, and then this is done. your heat because you pop a hole in the tube real easy. Could have turned my heat down a little bit but it's okay. Looks okay. Oh 
Oh, I started smelling that paint a little bit. Good thing I took most of it off. And then I'll put the gussets on. It's sturdy enough probably right now, but I still want to put the gussets on. So I'll clean those up and put those on next. They probably have to be trimmed a little bit. Yeah, they got to be trimmed. As long as you have the material though, it'll, it'll grind away. Yeah, I got to trim it off a little bit and then I'll spread that out. We're just about there now. You get this on the floor. Well, here's this top piece now. And uh, what I did, I put the little, little gussets in here to give it a little more support. I got to hit it with the wire wheel. And then uh, we'll run our chain across here. Like I was saying, there's already the little holes there. There's a lot of other things you could do, but I mean, this is good enough for us here in the shop. Matter of fact, we don't even really use the oxygen acetylene torches that much anyway. Uh, we're always using the plasma, and, but it's good for any kind of bottles. I mean, propane bottles. Yeah, and then a little paint will make it look nicer. Well, there's your bottle cart. Got the chain on there, easy access. Take it on and off, enough to go around. One big bottle or two in, the, in there throw a little paint on here and safety yellow. Anyway, I'm Rob. Thanks for joining me in Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you next time.